det där grabben. Fina slagväxter. Oh! Sex bak mot kroppen. Oh! Där har ni det. Det var slut. Det är min Megadagis. Till att inte Karlund att ta sig in i matchen igen. Fick in en perfekt vänster spark mot kroppen. What is up guys, Nero here from Nero MMA and in this week's technique breakdown we're going to be breaking down the kick that I used to score a third round knockout with in late September this year. This is a classic Kyokushin Karate kick that a lot of people don't really know about and today we're going to break the kick down step by step and I'm going to show you some of the finer details to it so you can start dropping people in fights as well. Sounds good right? Stick around, I'll show you how. All right, so the kick that I was talking about in Kyokushin Karate, we call it the Mawashigiri Shosuku. So what is Shosuku? Shosuku really means the ball of your foot. So when you pull your toes back, the part that connects when you tap the floor, that is Shosuku. So if you extend your foot and you bring the toes back, you pull them back as far as possible, this is the part that we're going to be connecting with. And what is a Mawashigiri? Well, a mawashigi is a roundhouse kick, but instead of connecting with the shin or the instep, we're gonna dig in the ball of the foot into the body of the opponent. And with this kick in particular, we're aiming for the liver and we're aiming for the solar plexus. Either one of those two targets is great. And when you connect with those two, you're gonna notice there's a delayed effect, sort of like getting kicked in the groin. All you guys know what I'm talking about. You feel the impact, then the effect comes. All right, get into your fighting stance. Since I have a very kicking heavy game, I like to stand a bit wider than most boxing coaches are gonna recommend. Now from your fighting stance, the first step of the kick, as with any other karate kick, is bringing your knee up high and chambering it. What does that mean? This is what I'm talking about. This is the chamber. Every Kyokushin karate kick comes from the chamber. So step one of this kick is pulling your knee up and aiming with your knee. Now the second part of the kick is, after you bring your knee up and you chamber your kick, step two is snapping the kick out and digging that ball of the foot into your opponent's body before you bring it back and get into your stance. So knee up, extend, bring it back, and into your stance again. All right, and when you get a basic understanding for how the kick works, you can start adding the steps together to make it flow. Once I get the basic steps down of the kick, what I do is I just make it flow. This kick is all about accuracy and speed. You have to have the dexterity to actually land and hit that soft spot because it's not really a huge part of the body. If you can aim and be accurate about hitting the liver or the solar plexus, you don't really need that much power. All you need is to extend your leg, connect, and have some mass and speed behind the kick, and that is gonna have the effect that you want, meaning it's gonna drop your opponent. And when you work it on a bag later on, focus for one spot on the bag and try to hit it. If you aren't aiming with it and you hit an elbow, you might break your toes, and it's just a risky kick to be reckless with. That being said, there's risk to throwing any technique. The risks with throwing this technique and missing is just that you might break a pinky toe. I've done that myself. It hurts for a while, but you survive. But practice it, be mindful, work on your accuracy, and it's gonna be a great kick to have in your arsenal. Since all of the force and the power is concentrated on that one small portion of your body, it's not a baseball bat, but it's more like a spearhead going right into the opponent's liver. It's not the flashiest of kicks when you throw it on the bag, but I promise you it's one of the most painful ones when you connect to your opponent. Alright guys, that's all for this week. That was the Shosuku Mawashigiri Shodan. As I said before, one of my favorite kicks, a kick that I've had a lot of success with lately, both in sparring, but in particularly in that last fight of mine, where you can see the results of the kick. 
I tried to find the range early in the fight, started getting closer and closer. And in that third round, boom, connected clean. I knew the fight was over before the referee did. That's why I didn't want to jump in and keep punching the guy when he was out. It's really a painful kick and it doesn't matter how tough you are. Once you dig that ball of the foot into the liver, it's only a matter of seconds before the opponent folds and uh, I got the W with it. I know for a fact that it's a great kick. I want you guys to practice it, work it on the bag, work it in sparring, but be careful in sparring because you don't want to be that guy that injures people or drops people left and right because you'll run out of sparring partners eventually. Take care of your sparring partners, work this technique on the bag, work it in your shadow boxing, visualize landing it, and soon you'll be dropping people too. As always, I want to say thank you guys for watching. That's all for this week. I'll see you next week. Thank you.